Hey, it's Kirk here for Secret Nature. I am on the beautiful St. Croix River in Minnesota. Wisconsin is just across the river over there. And I'm sitting on a big, giant boulder here up on the shore above the banks of the river. Now this rock is an igneous rock and all the igneous rock around here is probably about 1.2 somewhere around there, billion years old uh, from when the uh, mid-continental rift formed and started splitting North America apart right here in Minnesota. If it had kept on going, it would have split the entire continent in half. And this would not be a river. Uh, this would actually be the coast of the United States uh, or whatever is here. So there's something weird about this rock, though, a couple weird things about it that are kind of interesting. And one of it is what is down below. So we got to go look what is under this 1.2 billion year old rock to see what's really going on here. Here I am directly underneath where that giant rock is, and you can see the stone underneath this is limestone. This limestone was laid down when this area was covered by a shallow sea about half a billion years ago, 450 million, somewhere around there. And that presents a problem. This rock is younger than the older rock above it. If you think about how the geology of the earth is laid out, it's like layers of a cake or like a brick wall. You got to build the bottom layer before you put the next layer on. So how do we end up with younger rocks underneath older rocks above them? It should be the other way around. The oldest rock should be at the bottom, the youngest rock should be at the top. But that big boulder up there is 1.2 billion years old, somewhere in there, whereas this is only about half a billion years old. Hmm. To understand how this rock got here, where it shouldn't be on top of younger rock, you have to know a little bit about the geological history of this area. For about two million years, it was very cold in Minnesota. We had an ice age. There were glaciers that were two miles thick, acting like giant bulldozers that would just push everything south in this giant mass. This boulder that I am sitting on is estimated to weigh about 40 thousand pounds and it was pushed here by those glaciers from up north and it was pushed down this way on top of the younger rock but that's not the whole story about why this rock is interesting so what's even more amazing than the fact that this 40,000 pound boulder was pushed here by ice it's this surface it is super smooth So this side of the rock is totally smooth. It's been polished smooth, but come on and look at the other side of this rock. The south side of this rock is totally different. Come on down here. This side of the rock is all rough. It has not been polished smooth. This is the south side, that's the north side. And this goes back to those glaciers that were here for two million years. When they melted, they had picked up an awful lot of sand. And that river that swept through here actually created this mile wide river valley. And as that water rushed down, it passed over this rock that had been left here by the glaciers. And it is basically like liquid sandpaper, polishing the other side of this rock smooth but missing this side over here. There are glacial erratics, that's what these are called, all over the northern United States. You can take a look for them uh, out where you are. I happen to be here in William O'Brien State Park, and this one is right here by the campground, but you should get out and try to find some glacial erratics or signs of what's happened in the past near you. Thanks for watching, everybody. You can click on the Secret Nature logo in the middle to subscribe, or you can click on one of the two videos for more from Secret Nature.